Hello everyone, welcome again and today uh, we will see the demo of Canteen Management Project and it's developed into a JSP and servlet and for the front end also it's using HTML, CSS and bootstrap thing and uh, to manage the server side it's using servlet application is deployed over the Tomcat server I'm running it over the Tomcat server in my local host and uh, to manage the backend it's using MySQL Okay, is following MBC architecture and using Maven tool as a build tool. So here is the pom.xml is following completely MBC or MBC architecture. So beans are there, entities, beans, and controllers are there, exceptions, models, utility package. Okay, now if I move to database, it's using MySQL 8.0 as a version, and to operate the data, we are using here MySQL workbench. So let me search the database for it. Here is the canteen. Uh, management database it has these many tables like card payment product company product detail product type and user so uh what is the flow what are the different roles into the application and how it's working uh, let's check the demo now so in case if you have bought the project from code one uh, you will get the project in this state like we have a remote team that's going to help you to run the application at your machine we have different services if you want to understand the entire the source code you can contact us for that as well we have trainers so they are going to help you to understand the application and the code flow how the application is working if you are a learner or going for interviewer or uh, you are finally a student that's going to submit your project now uh, you can connect with us okay so after that what you need to do you just need to follow me uh, in order to run the application okay so this is my root folder of the application in my eclipse id just right click on it go to run as run it on server select the server as a tomcat click on next click on finish automatically the application will launch over your chrome browser and this will be your home page and welcome page you can see and here we have some options like product list so uh, you will get the list of product that is available into this application so it's college canteen management so we have some uh, like I'm, I'm, I'm just giving one idea about the application like i'm uh, we are showing some uh, food items where a student can order and they can get, have it okay so these are the product list that is coming from the database so here if you view the database table the product details you will get the listed project and i will show you how can you operate them in the pro from the front end as well okay another option for the home page we have a login we have this registration okay so uh, we have a user registration it means new user can register into the application by filling up these details username email id and the password when i hit the submit button yes you user is registered successfully now if you want to check it in backend you can check the user table here you will get this record that i have just added as a student now we don't have any option to register as an admin but we have an admin user so admin can add the products and other details so first i'm going to log in into the application so understand there are two types of users first is an admin second is a student okay so admin can add into uh, like login into the application and admin can uh, add some product and perform some admin kind of operations and then the user is or a student going to operate it as a end user so i just hit the login button and enter username password for the admin from here here is the available username and the password and the role name is admin and role id is one so uh when i log in as an admin i can see many options uh here we have a product type so by using add button i can add a new product let's suppose i want to add a product so i'm just going to give it a unique id here so let's suppose 002 rd and the product name uh, unique ID you can keep it as like a QR code or something. So I just enter a testing product Testing product new I just hit the submit button now this products will display me into the list Here is the product list. So I recently added this data. Okay. Also, uh, if I'm going to edit it uh, I can edit the name Update and I can also delete any record so if I want to delete it I can just hit I just need to hit the delete button the data will be deleted okay now uh, another option we have and as, as, as an admin we have add company so if uh, admin can add a new company that's going to deal with us and I just submit it the company list will be displayed here about the product now I can add a product so let's suppose I want to add a product as a new food and food type like vegetable fruits or what types of food is this so it's, it's a vegetable i just select the company name 
I just select the enter the price and if image of the dish so I am going to use some dummy image uh, I, I think I don't have the exact image for that but for demonstration I'm going to use this taxi image I just hit the submit button you can see the product is added now if I check the list I can see the newly added product in the bottom so this is the product image product name company name and all the things also as an admin I can add, add delete any existing any existing product here is the payment history so the shopkeeper can check the payment that is done by any user which is coming with order number product name username and price now uh, another option i have to log out so i just log out now and as an admin now i'm going to log in as a user and going to order something okay so uh here is the new user that we recently logged in so i'm just going to enter this username and this password and when i hit the sign in button it will redirect me over the welcome page and now user is logged out and now you can see the card option over there that is empty right now and i go to the uh, product list i can add the card now you can see the product added to the card also the one item is counted here uh, also if i want to add more product i can add more product so now it's showing product 2 so the total price it's calculating the total price is coming here now what i need to do i need to add some more information like your account number bank name and the card number some some some, some payment detail so i'm just going to enter this accept this okay this pay now continue so when i click on the pay now the payment is successfully now i can view my order so it will display me into my uh like payment history so this is my payment history here i can see i have ordered two items that is this these things okay now uh also from the add card i can remove my items and after that i can log out from there okay now uh product list uh again it's displaying over there now if i log in as an admin and i try to view the history of the uh, like uh, order that i place right now it will be displayed over there so i just enter login credential for the admin and <clears throat> i just enter the login and it's taking some time to load might be the like it from the database side so i just go here go here okay so uh i just need to enter username and password for the admin i just enter username password you can log in here under the payment is taken check the newly payment done and <clears throat> that is the like on by which user and order is still will be displayed to the user so thank you so much for watching if you need the source code you can contact us uh, you don't worry about the configuration and set up this thing that you must seen we have the team they are going to help you to run the application at your machine also in case you want to understand and learn things how the things are working internally code flow and how we can create end-to-end -end project you can connect with us over the whatsapp over the mail over the skype thank you